What is up guys? Welcome back to Coaching Levels and in today's video, I've got another topic for you guys to discuss. Turning a weakness into a strength. So yeah, before we start into the video guys, I know you guys haven't seen my face for a while. Uh, I've been good, I've been great. I've been trying to keep myself healthy. Um, you know, of course, everyone gets in those slumps. Still in lockdown. Still, you know, still trying to sh sh do certain things without being like trapped in your house and whatnot. So yeah, it has been hard. It has been hard. I'm sure it's been hard when for the people watching or for everyone else in the world. But, um, you know, what, what, doesn't make, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, as they say. And, um, yeah, definitely, you know, I was just thinking about this video I did. This, this video is going to be kind of raw, unedited, and just me talking to the camera. I haven't done probably a video like this for a while. Um, you know, probably my last update video, I think that was probably like a raw video as well, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's just get straight into this video today. So... Turning a weakness into a strength. Uh, now, when in basketball, of course, turning a weakness into a strength is a, can be a hard process or a hard thing to progress at. But once you get to a strength, I think the hardest thing for turning a weakness into a strength is just the consistency of things. So, um, yeah, this is some of the things I thought of and wrote down and maybe can help other people realize that, you know, you're not the only person struggling with weaknesses in your life or or in basketball as well. Like I said, just because I talk about basketball or related to basketball doesn't mean this can't relate to life. So uh, with that being said, let's just get into this. So first, the first thing you want to do is find that weakness. Once you find that weakness, again, um, you know, once you find it, you just need to try and figure out, okay, this is the weakness I have. How can I improve it? How can I work on it? And of course, you know, these things, um, like I said, they take time and it takes uh, a lot of uh, patience and everything like that. And once you have this weakness, it could be, let's say, for example, acknowledge where it is. It could be, for, you, for example, um, I don't know, maybe left hand layups in basketball, dribbling, shooting, or maybe moving off the ball, screening off the ball, or uh, trying to remember set players and stuff like that. And, and as time, like, you know, things do get hard. Things do get hard. But as time goes on, you know, you have to try and find small things. I think what helped me um, get better at left hand layups, for example, in basketball was, uh, you know, just practicing the footwork. Once I practiced the footwork, it was just lifting my arm up. And sometimes it does look awkward. But, you know, my co as I was told or as I learned, it was just, you know, lifting my arm straight up for the left hand layup, you know. And these things take time, you know. You know, my left hand layup now is just as good as my right hand layup. And of course, you know, you have to practice. Just because you're right-handed doesn't mean to say that you can't still can be consistent with that. Same if you're left-handed, it goes, it's vice versa, the same thing. You know, once you find this weakness, start off with something small to get yourself in a rhythm. So what I mean by that is uh, maybe start off with a small technique task or a small task just to get yourself up in a rhythm. So with left hand layups, like I said, it was the footwork, doing the footwork. And it wasn't doing the footwork straight right out of the basket. It was just kind of like learning the slower steps of it, you know, the bounce, then the one, two after. And of course, you know, coming off your right leg. And of course, you know, let's, let's move on to another example, like dribbling, for example. I wasn't the best of dribblers. I'm still not the best of dribblers, but dribbling for me has become one of a better strong, a better strong point for me because I practiced that it, you know, I practiced that it, I learned it, you know, crossover through the legs, behind the back, of course, you know, two, two ball dribble techniques and stuff like that, those things do help, and, um, you know, dribbling has become stronger for me, of course, you know, you're not always going to keep the ball, you're, you're going to get stripped sometimes, or you're going to get blocked if you're going up for a layer, it happens, you know, just remember that it, you can still turn this into a strength, and uh, another thing would be, obviously, of course, is practice, and find other ways or perspectives to enhance the weakness. So look at it from a different angle. If you're with a with the left hand, if with a left hand layer, for example, again, if it's not the footwork you're working on first, then maybe just start off close, just going up with your left hand, just you not know, just left hand, left hand. Aim for the uh the top right corner or the top left corner, as they say. Aim for it off the bank, off the backboard, you know, just to make sure it helps you. And then, of course, if it's dribbling, of course, just start off with one ball, one ball, one ball, crossover, crossover, you know, then start off with two, then do, you know, it's different techniques and different ways 
different various ways to improve your dribbling. And, and again, once you do that, you'll find another technique to get your dribbling better or your shooting better or your layups better. That's just how it is. That's how basketball is. How life is. You find different ways to do things. Another another tip would be is that, you know, get help or a second opinion. Of course, you know, of course you have a basketball coach who can help you as well. But also a second opinion might be a player on your team. It might be someone who's played the game before, who's just probably um, going through the same experiences as you or been through the same experiences. They can help as well with whatever you're going through, you know, whether that's physically or mentally. Um, of course, you know, getting help is what we all need right now. Definitely, it's good to have someone, you know, there to help you and push you to make sure that you're going to be okay. Um, another thing that people may not find uh, useful is that research into your problem. Research into like, you know, if you if you have an issue in basketball where you, maybe you're not shooting correctly or maybe you're not making the shots you need to, research into it. Go into videos. Go into online. Look online. Maybe study a technique that maybe you're doing something uh, not necessarily wrong, but maybe you're you're not doing something that's added to your technique to make you a better shooter. You know, like a faster release or your elbow more tucked in. You know, exactly as you can see, like elbow, you know, more tucked in like that. Um, and again, you know, researching into your problem, it helps you or it helps along the way. And... The last thing I have to say is that once your weakness becomes a strength, it can still be, you know, you can still have to be consistent with it. You still have to train at it and do different things. So again, as I've been going back and forth, all these things kind of integrate with each other, you know? And of course, like I said, once you get better at shooting, that doesn't mean to say that you stop shooting. You just shoot from different angles, shoot from a, a different length, a three-pointer to a two-pointer, two-pointer to a three-pointer, a layup. To a two point, up to a three point, so on and so forth. There's so many different ways, of course. And again, this doesn't have to re rely on, you know, like uh, basketball, sorry, but life as well. You take these things and go off into life with them as well. So, yeah, guys, um, I think that's pretty much it for the video. I've gotten uh, everything I need to say. Like I said, it's just going to be kind of raw, unedited. Um, you know, definitely feel like it's been like a long awaited video. I haven't really spoken to you guys and, uh, you know, my camera's still here, it's set up. I do want to use it. But again, of course, I'll have to edit other stuff off of it but until my laptop returns and it's, you know, I'll get, I'll get a new one. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Uh, share, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts and any opinions you have. And I'll see you for the next video. Peace.